So we're now on deck 12, just outside the studio rooms and the studio lounge. All of the rooms, the studio rooms, and also the studio lounge, you do have to have your key card. You do have to be staying in one of those rooms to be able to access. There's actually two hallways. There's one here and then one on the other side. And I think in total, there's something like 80 something solo rooms or studio rooms on board the Encore. And this is deck 12. There's also studio rooms on deck 11 and deck 10. And deck 11 is also the location of the studio lounge. And the lounge is exclusive to those solo guests staying in a studio room. And we'll check that out in just a moment. And this is my room here, room 12, 537. And you can see here on the outside of the door, they actually have lights. These are not exclusive to the studio rooms or actually every room on board the ship has these, but there's a light inside. We can click it to make up the room. We can click it to do not disturb. And it also knows whether or not we're at home because you do have to have your key card inserted for the lights to come on. So we will step inside the room now. In the studio room sleep one person. You'll notice as soon as we walk in the room, there is one full size bed here. It is actually a very comfortable bed. And I didn't really know what to expect. I was like, oh, just a full size bed. That's not gonna be very comfortable for one person, but it's actually been quite spacious and actually just perfect for one solo cruiser. Now this stateroom is just north of 100 square foot, I believe. So it's one of the smaller staterooms on board the ship. However, as we start to look around the room, you will see that uh, you actually have quite a bit of room in here. So we'll start with the bed, like I said, a full size bed over here. One of the cool features of the room is this TV screen window here, designed to look like a window, but it's actually a TV screen back there and it's showing a live view off of the port side of the ship. So I've enjoyed this all cruise long to open up the shade and be able to see outside the ship. And I'll show you the secret to this because we'll come over here around the other side. You see there's a light here, but if you look underneath, you can actually see back there some of the wires and stuff. So it's actually just a TV screen in the wall. And that's the reason why this section here comes off the wall so much because there is a TV mounted back there behind this little wall. And you actually can pull this down and it'll cut it off so at night when you want you know to go to sleep of course you don't want that tv glaring all night or maybe you do so one of the first things i do in the morning is raise the shade and this one's been a little bit uh messed up at one to raise throughout the cruise but you can see there the tv actually cut back on you could see the samsung display came on uh so that's really neat i really like that feature and then of course like i said uh, full-size bed I have three pillows on the bed because I requested an extra so just know you can request extra pillows if you need them but typically I think they just have two just up above the bed they do have an adjustable reading light so you can sort of make this however you need it if you want to sit in bed and read at night you can do that and then of course by that you do have a standard telephone like most of the staterooms on a cruise ship just down below that you have your USB ports. There's actually two USB ports here beside the bed. Now note that there is no power outlet right by the bed. You will have to use a power outlet over on the desk, which we'll see in a minute, but there are two USB ports here. There is also an ethernet connection right here. I don't know why anyone would need that in the day of Wi-Fi, but I don't even know if it works, but that is here. And then there are two lights here. This one controls the main lights in the room. So you can see it kind of down when we did that. And then this one, actually controls these border lights. You can see all around the top of the closet and the vanity area. You can see the lights up here and also above the bed area as well. We can click that to turn those off. So a lot of controls right here, just bedside. You also have the stateroom TV remote right here, which is nice and convenient right beside the bed. And then right here beside the bed, you also have a little chair, but they put this little wood section on it so it serves as like a nightstand table and I've been using it as a nightstand table but you can also pull it and move it so that you have a chair to sit at so you can sit here at the vanity if you want to get ready um, or just sit here and work on a computer or something like that so we'll push that back but the multi-use multi-purpose little nightstand there and then we'll open the first of two closets and notice the closet doors do slide which is nice because that can serve space in the room they don't open outward or anything and uh plenty of storage in the closets you can see there are hangers included so you don't have to bring hangers from home it does look like someone did though you can see these hangers in the back these aren't they don't look cruise ship standard i think someone might have just left those and then down here in the bottom you actually have the safe uh, and this is a standard size safe i think this is a uh, pretty much what you're going to find on most cruise ships today uh, and it locks and unlocks with a four-digit code that you can choose yourself. 
And then there's additional storage down there below. So right beside the closet is the stateroom TV. And it's not a huge TV, but it does the job. And it does swivel about that much so that you can lay in bed and have a good angle of the TV. You can also push it all the way back like this in case you want to maybe sit on the bed and watch TV. And down below here, you do have a little storage. I've sat like glasses and my key card and things like that up on this ledge. And then down below, you have a little bit of a table. Now, this isn't very big, so you can't set a lot on here. But it did well for me to set my phone charger and things like that on here. And I set my phone charger here because you can see there is one electrical outlet right here. One U.S. outlet. There's also an international outlet here too so if you do have an international plug or maybe an adapter you could bring that and have two us standard plugs there's also a light here and this light actually controls uh, this section right here this little cubby section and then also the mirror and vanity area down there so we'll turn that back on they also leave of course the room service and bar menu here inside the room now there is no refrigerator in the room so there is no actual like mini bar or anywhere to keep anything cool so do note that no refrigerator in this room just not space for it there is though a uh, kind of a little mini bar set up here with some waters these are all for additional purchase and they are not included in the drink package so the prices are listed here for how much they are and again they are not included in the drink package you also have of course a couple of cups that you can use for water and then here is closet number two and again just as spacious as the other. It's actually just the same size. It's just missing the safe in this one. So you do have a little bit more room in this closet that you can see here. I have several shirts in here and plenty of space for even more if I had the hangers. I think I'm using all the hangers in this one. Uh, but a really nice closet space. I was really happy with the amount of storage in here. The one thing I will say, and we'll see as we continue to explore the room, there are no drawers in this room at all. So if you're someone who likes to use drawers throughout the cruise and have places to store your clothes, you might want to think about bringing some packing cubes or something that you could set up down here in the bottom uh, because there are no shelves even. So no drawers, no shelves other than this one. Um, and you really can't put all your clothes on one little shelf there. So just keep that in mind that there are no drawers, but plenty of closet space in this room. And then now we move over here and you see that there is this nice uh, mirror here in the room. There's also a couple more cups there if you want to use for like brushing your teeth and things like that There's also a dispenser for soap here um, And this is just a standard cruise line soap but hand soap right here on the wall And of course your sink is right here in the room because well everything's here in the room because it's a studio room uh, But this is a nice sink. It looks small and I was actually worried about the size of it I'm like well, that's a tiny sink, but it's been great now just down below the sink you actually do have a drawer down here and here is a you know some shelf in here here's actually a waste basket that you can use in here and then on the other side uh, just more of the shelf there's also uh, I should have shown that on the other side but you can see it here there's a sharps crate so if you do need to throw away any needles or anything like that there is one right here um, right underneath the sink in the room so that's important to know and then we'll move on the other side of the sink this is where they're going to store your towels so you have towels and hand towels and washcloths and things like that there's also three standard U.S. electrical outlets right here in this cubby as well. So if you have any appliances that might need to be plugged up, you can do that right here in this cubby. And then even more outlets right here, and this is actually an included hair dryer, so just know that this is standard in the room. Here's a couple more outlets here if you need to plug in the hair dryer or anything like that. You can certainly do that. Let's put that back in there. And then down below there is another cubby, another couple of cubbies. Uh, I like to store my dirty clothes in this one because it does close so you don't have to look at you know dirty clothes and things like that so this might be a nice place to store dirty clothes and then you have one more drawer down here and uh, honestly I thought this was the waste basket for most of the week until I found that one under the sink because it does have this metal little thing in here so I guess it has multi uses you can use it however you like and now we'll move to the shower which is right beside the sink and I would love to tell you that this is a standard cruise ship shower, but it is a little bit smaller than that, I'm afraid. I stayed in many cruise cabins uh, throughout, I think this is cruise number 24, and uh, this one's a little bit smaller than you'll typically find, but it does have an adjustable shower head. You can move that up and down to have different height. You also have a, it has a very lengthy hose, so you have plenty of room to move it around in there. You can also adjust the temperature of the water there as well. And included, in the room is some revived body wash and nourishing conditioning shampoo. There's also a handle in here and also 
you can pull this out up here to have a retractable clothesline. So if you're maybe spending a day at the beach or something and have a wet swimsuit, well, you can pull that across to the hook over here on the other side and have yourself a clothesline. Uh, one thing I don't like about the shower is this. This is somewhere, of course, to put soap. Maybe you have uh, bar soap that you wanna bring. You can store that here. However, it just gets in the way because like I said, this isn't a very big shower uh, and I've bumped into that constantly. And also, it just stores like nasty water. That's like yesterday's bath water. So I think that's gross. I don't like that. That's the only thing I don't like about the shower. And uh, you can see it is pretty tight in here. Like I'm standing up against the wall and there's just not a lot of room. So uh, yeah, it's not the most spacious shower in the world, but I guess it will do for the studio state room. So we'll move out of there now. And then right behind the shower, right beside the shower rather, you do have a mirror and you do have these four uh, little hooks right beside the mirror. And this was a great place to hang hats. I also could hang my towel. I'm um, cruising in Alaska this cruise, so I could hang my jackets up there when I came back for the day, so that's very nice. Also to note that a lot of the studio rooms are connecting state rooms, and this would be where the door would be to the room next door. So if you do have a connecting, maybe you're cruising with a friend or something and you both have studio rooms, this is where that door is going to be so that you can go over into the next room. However, mine is not a connecting state room, so it's just a wall there. But regardless, if it's door or not, this is where your full length mirror is going to be. And then right beside that mirror, just opposite of the shower, is where you're going to find the toilet. And it's here in this little uh, closet, and it, it certainly is a closet. It's very tiny in here. It's actually very tight in here if you're a tall person. Um, well, just use your imagination. It's going to be very cramped in here. It's the toilet. I mean, I don't really know what else I can say, but it is in here. You know, you can shut the door. It's not open and exposed like everything else is in the room, which is nice. And then here on this wall, just inside the door, you actually have a couple of uh, buttons in here. This works the sign outside, which I showed you. You can click it if you want the room made up. You can turn it on, turn it off, or you can turn on the do not disturb. So this is cool. Instead of having a physical sign like most cruise lines do, you actually have buttons which work that sign. And then next to that, you do have the thermostat for the room. You can turn the thermostat up or down, depending on your temperature needs. And I like to keep mine turned all the way down as cold as it'll go. You also have this cold boost right here. If you want it even colder, I can click that and it'll turn on a little boost. However, I don't really ever notice it getting that much cooler. I don't hear any fans or anything like that cutting on when I hit that button, but just know you do have that uh, available. And I will say it actually was quite warm in this room. I never could get it as cool as I would have liked to have gotten it throughout the course of the cruise. So just know it might be a little toasty in this room at times. And then just below that, you have another light. This actually controls everything in the shower and in the toilet closet, as we're calling it. So you can see when I flip it, both of those will come on and off. And then this is the power switch for the overhead lights, so I can cut those off. You see it gets darker in the room. Now, typically you have to have a key card in here for the lights to work. However, I don't know if my room store did something, but by day two of the cruise, I didn't have to do that anymore. So yeah, that is the studio stateroom here on board the Norwegian Encore. A very nice room, plenty of space for one solo cruiser, and very nice features, plenty of storage, only wish it had drawers. Oh, speaking of drawers, one more thing I wanted to show you, because I know a lot of people like to store their luggage under the bed. So we'll take a look under here. And you'll see I have my bag under here, and also my backpack. So there is room for at least a couple of pieces of luggage if you do want to store those under the bed. You'll also notice down there there is a wicker basket looking thing. That's just where the stateroom attendant is storing extra pillows and blankets and things like that that they need in order to service the room. down now and take a look at the studio lounge which is actually located on deck 11 and I'm here on deck 12 so you just have to take this little staircase down you can see there's another level to take you down to the solo rooms down on deck 10 
This is the studio lounge, and it is exclusive to those guests staying in a solo room. And it's a very nice lounge. It's very pretty in here. In addition to seating and stuff, they also have a wine dispenser over here. Uh, you do have to pay for this. This wine in here, as I understand, is not included in any of the drink packages. So just know if you're pouring some wine in here in the studio lounge, you will have to pay additional for it. Um, they have orange juice and ice water here. Now, they always have ice water, but the orange juice changes. Last night, they had iced tea, so it just depends on what time of the day, what as to what drink they might have. Um, but they have some assorted danishes here. There's some fruit. You are staying in a studio room, and you have access to the studio lounge. You can take care of all your reservations right here uh, from the convenience of the studio lounge, which is a very quiet, tranquil place to sit and enjoy the morning. Mm -hmm.